everybody, my name is Spam and welcome back to Train Sim World. So far through this series, we've been traveling the whole world, but today, we're bringing things a little bit closer to home. So, without any more stalling, let's begin! That's your boy, Spam level three, tapping on all them train haters. Right, anyway, our train adventure began with the CSX Heavy Hall. We then moved things up to New York, going somewhere or another, I don't know, but then we swung over to Germany, and had a chat with locals. Amazing German linguistic skills. Anyway, today, everybody. Oh, we're going to London, baby, because we're going to check out the Great Western Express. Welcome to the game, everybody. Look at that. It's beautiful. The GWR Great Western Railways here in Blighty. It looks like Blighty. That's lovely. Look at it. It's so long. It's so big. Anyway, we've got to do a stupid tutorial again, because I don't know. The game seems to think I'm something of an idiot. It doesn't think I can handle the skill of driving. Driving any train in the world with no prior knowledge. So let's get this over with. To be serious for a second, I know that I play this game like a complete and utter idiot, but it does actually look very nice. The models on the trains are gorgeous. The world's design is gorgeous. It is just a very visually stunningly beautiful game. I only wish it would be able to blow things up. Look at this! There's a little stepladder waiting for me. It's like I'm royalty or something. Hi. It's me. Oh, Bruce, is that you? I'm coming aboard. Wow, this floor. Hang on, hang on. I don't know about this, Bruce. That floor is not bequeathing of an expert such as myself. Right, I'm in, everybody. It's two little seats, Bruce. One for you, one for me. Hi, right, I'm not actually sat in it. I'm just squatting. I have to say, of all the trains we've seen, this is not the nicest. <laughs> Uh, there's a little doorway here, but I can't go through it. All right, Bruce, get out of the way. I'm sitting down. First things first, everybody, the master key. But before we do that, look at this. Like, there's like a car away from my legs. It's not even like a workstation. It's just, it's weird. I don't like it. Anyway, twiddle that and then twiddle on this. Uh, boop. It's beeping at me. Make it stop. Make it stop. The time has come to start the engine, everybody. Apparently, it sounds quite majestic, like a gazelle in the rainforest being dragged by a lion who's harassing a giraffe. Yeah, bringing it all back, the Serengeti, Oh, This game has a major lady boner for having the, the, the lights on during the day, right? Bluff. There you go, day headlamps and markers. Okay, putting her in gear, everybody, forward gear. The brakes are currently charging, apparently. What else do we got? What is that? Where's my horn? England! Yes, mate! No smoking. Useful numbers. I don't see any numbers. Aha! Someone close the door! Ghosts! It's time to go. We're gonna bring the throttle into notch one. There we go. Oh! Look at that! It's like an angry kettle. It's like I'm going! Oh, what a majestic view that is. Tremendous view. The Great Western Railway view. They want me to stop the train already. So braking time. So the throttle's in neutral already. So now it's gonna bring this train brake from running to initial. It's gonna gently butter up those like two bits of bread slapping on some ham. Yes! Oh, we're gonna stop at the red light. It's like divine intervention or just a master drive for spammels. That's what it is, yes. We're done! So long as I remember everything, we should be just fine. Oh, level four, baby. Whoa. Right, with that out the way, we can do some fun stuff. So services. Uh, I got three trains to pick from. The class 166 GWG. It's currently, there it is, loading in. Looks a bit more traditional. We got the class 66 DBS. Oh, this is gonna be a heavy goods lucky train. Oh, look at that. It's like a it's got a little hat on. It's adorable. But no, we want to play with the GW workers. That's what we were trained in. So let's do that. Right, London Paddington to Bristol Temple Maid meets... Oh, London Paddington to Swansea. That sounds tremendous. Welcome to the game, everybody. And more importantly, welcome to London, everybody. Let's get out for a quick browse before we depart. London Paddington, everybody. Home of the Great Western Railways. A friend of mine, when he saw me playing these games, he was like, mate, if you're gonna do London Paddington, you need to mention the legends. The absolute mad lad is about Kingdom Brunel. Internationally around espionage agent of sex, plunder, and designing things. Look at this as we go under the surface and look at that sky! Oh! This is one of Isambard Kingdom Brunel's absolute triumphs. He designed this place. This isn't the original design. It had an earlier design, but it was too expensive. Scrapped it outright. They went with this, heavily inspired by Crystal Palace. Oh, wart iron balustrade thingy things with the glass windowy thingy things. It's absolutely beautiful and spacious. Now, I'm not a buff on this. I googled it before recording. So, if I sound like I'm knowledgeable, it's because I, I read it online. <laughs> but he did ask me to point out a specific thing. There should be a statue of Isambard Kingdom Brunel himself sat down by some ticket machines. 
I want to find it. I love that you can explore the world in this game. Now, I normally arrive into Marleybone Station. I'm not really familiar with Paddington myself, but yeah, it looks like London. I'm getting the vibes of London from... No! Bruce! He's always itching to get hands on them controls. No, Bruce. Oh, mate, have I got, have I got my pass? I got an oyster card, mate. Slide me through. No? They're having a great time. Oh, there's a WH Smiths. Are they even still around? I don't even think they exist anymore, do they? I don't know where the statue is. But look at that. That is a pretty dapper view. Would you not agree? Bruce, we're looking for some bad King Jim Brunel. Keep an eye out. That is cool. That is very cool. I am actually geeking out about this. I like architecture. I like grand designs. And this is pretty damn grand. Well, sadly, there's no sign of Isambard himself, so back to the train. It's time that we depart. We've got a station to get to and passengers to disappoint. Which one's my train? I can't remember. Seriously, which one is it? Hi, I haven't been trained on this one. It looks a bit more comfortable than my one. Ooh, no, leave it alone. Okay, this is my train. I'm pretty sure this is my train. Let's climb aboard and climb up the insides. Close the door. Attention, it's me! Hi, how you doing, lady? I am the pilot of this vessel, and I'm driving you on the rails to success. So follow me! Didn't I see you in Germany? Hugo weaving. I have found the toilets, everybody, but it is not usable, goddammit. Poof, I have returned, Gibbs. You're not here, but I still speak to you as if you are. Right, I remember my training. So master key, we're gonna unlock that. Put the that into the full into neutral. Okay, forwards, into the forwards. And a throttle back to number one. Oh, there you go. Brake pressure's doing a thing. Where's my horn? Hang on. That's the horn. I'm gonna put my lights on, headlights on, uh, daylight and that, right? It's stupid how lights are the one thing that stops you from departing. Right, twiddle my knob, it's time to go. And with that, the mighty Spammels departed London Paddington. Goodbye, capital. My horny kettles of love are blasting in your name. It's yellow. Kinda looks like it's taking a pee in your name, but whatever. Let's uh, increase the volume of the speeds to maximum. See what happens. It's quite dark, actually. I didn't realize I picked such a bad time of day. I like the idea of being a train driver, having your own private little cabin, your own little space. And like before, I've got a blind. <laughs> I don't want to see where I'm going. Stop looking at me. As the sun sets on another glorious day, the Spammels Express is picking up speed, rocking a solid 56 miles an hour. So I typically go to London three times a year, once in May for Comic-Con, once in October for Comic-Con, and once in December for Winter Wonderland in Hyde Park. Look at this! I can make my gauges go up and down in colour. Headlight flash. Oh! Look at that! They're flashing! Very slowly, but they're giving us the wink of like, hey, Great Western here, how you doing? Having a great time? Okay, stop winking, thank you. And there's nothing above me. It feels like there's less controls in this engine compared to any of the other ones we've done. In fact, this one feels a bit more old-fashioned, if anything. Like that German one was like a spaceship. The American freight train was just pure power and everything. Had computer LCD consoles. We haven't even got them. We got that little Game Boy there, but that's not doing much. And what is this? It is a nothing, apparently. Climate control. I'll we'll make it. It's that 100% climate. It still sucks you can't open the door whilst the train's bloody going. Look at that sun beaming off the windows. That's... Buttons! Okay, okay, I'm going, I'm going! Acknowledge! Uh... Acknowledge! Um, what? What do you want? The lady in the tutorial said nothing about beeping! We're slowing down, we're slowing down. I don't know why we're slowing down. Would you shut up? I'm fed up at your beeping! Turn the engine off, maybe? Engine stop. It said when beeping happens, you've got to manually confirm it. Is there something over here? I'm making things more annoying now. You know what? I'm going to step out for a second. That's... There's even more beeping from out here. The beeping's following me. Why can I still hear it? Guys in the builder's yard. Can you hear beeping? I don't know what to do, everybody. I'm pushing every bloody button. Climate control, is that what's to blame? Oh! I did, I did something! The DSD isolation is a thing, apparently. I've made a new sound! Now that's done. Let's start the engine again. Hang on. Put us in forwards. Uh, throttles in idle. Okay, start the engine. Why won't you start? You bloody train! Yes! Wafted up! Ooh! Your boy Spamos is actually getting better at driving bloody trains. 
So, with that, release the brakes, put this reverser into forwards, slam that batter max. We're moving again, and there's no beeping going on. We're going to get to Swansea, everybody. <laughs> After a minor setback, the Spammels Express was back on track. That is terrifying. If you're seeing this, you're too close. We've got a station coming up. What station is it? Oh, no! My game crashed! What the hell? An unreal process has crashed. Well, that's not fair. Normally, I crash the trains. But no, this time the game crashes the train. Oh! After a minor setback, your boy Spammels was back on the tracks once again. And the time of day is looking a bit better now. You can actually see what we're looking at. It's not just a void of darkness reflecting god rays. So I'm guessing our destination is 32 miles away. The thing is, throughout this entire series so far, we've never actually got to our destination. We've always crashed, derailed, messed around, spoke to strangers, instead of doing what we're kind of supposed to be doing. So today, it's different. Today, we get to our destination. Or die trying. Look at these wheels. They're just a blur. They're like razor blades dicing up the rail. I got a 60 mile an hour warning coming up in... Of that distance. Think we might be in trouble because we're doing more than double that. Um, um. Damn it! I knew that was gonna happen! I bloody knew that was gonna happen, you stupid game! Always failing me for your nonsensical you go into your fast warnings! Blow it out your stern port hole train exhaust pipe! And we're back in Paddington, everybody! Deja vu much? Right, well, I'm going to call that an episode right about there. This has been Train Sim Worlds, the Great Western Express Railways, and Paddington Station. A lot of Paddington Station. Not much of anything Alsington's. I had a good fun time today. I hope you did. If you did, please leave a comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. I would love to hear them. If you have any ideas about the future of this series, please do share them. I will always consider them. And on that bombshell, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody!